which is the best Linux distro for programming in 2025. And honestly, after trying multiple options over the last year, my final answer is Fedora 42. In this video, we'll dive deep into exactly why Fedora 42 stands out, breaking down all the important aspects our developers should care about when picking a Linux distro. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned coder, stick around, this might just be your next favorite OS. Let's start with the foundation of any good programming distro, that is package management. Fedora uses DNF which is fast, clean, dependable and secure. With it, you can install thousands of packages effortlessly whether it's your preferred code editor, compilers, language runtimes or development libraries. And here's the real bonus. Fedora is bleeding edge, its repositories are among the first to get newer language versions. So while other distros might still stuck on older versions of GCC or Python, Fedora 42 shifts with GCC 15, Python 313 and Rust 1.79 right out of the box. And if something is not in the official repo, Flatpak integration is built in. That means you can easily grab sandbox versions of apps like VS Code, Obsidian or Postman without risking your system's stability. Now let's talk about how easy it is to set up our development environment on Fedora 42. And honestly, it is one of the easiest experience I had. You have got official up-to-date packages for VS Code, JetBrains, Toolbox, GNOME Builder, Eclipse and more. Setting of language-specific tools like PyENB for Python or NVM for Node.js or RBNB for Ruby is seamless. Docker and Podman, both industry standards for container development, are fully supported and maintained by Fedora itself. And if you work with virtual machines, KVM and GNOME boxes are ready to go. It makes for a highly productive, customizable and frustration-free programming environment. Fedora has always struck an impressive balance between bleeding edge software and system stability and Fedora 42 takes this up a notch. It's not a rolling release like ours which can sometimes break after updates and it's not too conservative like Debian Stable or Ubuntu LTS. Fedora delivers predictable twice a year releases bringing the latest kernels, compilers and system tools without risking the reliability. You get access to cutting edge tools like Linux 6.14, GNOME 48, GCC 15 while enjoying a system that's enterprise tested and extremely reliable. Another big win for Fedora is hardware support. Out of the box, it handles modern laptops, gaming rigs, high DPI displays, Wi-Fi cards, Bluetooth devices and peripherals better than most other distros I've ever tried this year. Especially if we have got an NVIDIA GPU, Fedora's support is excellent. They even provide proprietary NVIDIA drivers directly via RPM Fusion with a simple toggle. Plus, it now supports newer hardware controllers, expanded camera modules and improved multi-monitor setups thanks to updates in the kernel 6.14 and GNOME 48. If you're a programmer, you live in the terminal and Fedora makes this experience of top tier. The default GNOME terminal is highly configurable, but you can easily swap it out for KT, Alacrity or Telex. Fedora also has great support for modern cells like GSS and Face. You'll find all your favorite CLI tools as top, BAT, TMOX, FGF ready to install and run like a charm. The terminal experience here feels modern, responsive and developer centric. Let's talk security because you need your development environment to be both open and secure. Fedora leads the way here with ASCII Linux enabled by default, offering an extra layer of process and file access control. It's enterprise grade security without headaches. Fedora also encourages sandbox applications via Flatpak which means you can run GUI apps isolated from your core system and for container development, Podman is baked right in. It's rootless, secure and OCI compliant. In short, you get a distro built for programming and mindful of your system's safety. Fedora's community is one of the most welcoming and knowledgeable in the Linux world. There's a dedicated Fedora Docs portal with clear up-to-date guides plus a thriving community on Reddit, Matrix and the Fedora discussion forums. If you run into any issue, odds are someone's already solved it and they are happy to help. 
This makes it a great distro not just for pros but for newcomers too. So what's new in Fedora 42? Quite a bit actually. It now ships with a fully overhauled Anaconda Web UI installer making the installation and dual boot setups clearer and more beginner friendly. GNOME 48 brings screen time tracking, better multi-monitor support and smoother animations with triple buffering. And on the top of that, Fedora now officially supports the cosmic desktop environment from System76 or Rust based desktop tailored for developers. Fedora 42 is the first Fedora release to truly embrace the multiple polish desktop options while keeping everything modern and coherent under the hood. So to wrap this up, Fedora 42 isn't just a good Linux distro for programmers in 2025, it's quite possibly the best. It combines a powerful, secure and modern package ecosystem with excellent hardware support, cutting edge tools, a responsive terminal environment and a welcoming developer community. If you are looking to start programming on Linux or you are an experienced developer who wants a fast, secure and a reliable setup with the latest tech, give Fedora 42 a serious look. And that's all for today, so I hope you found this video helpful. And if so, please like and share the video, subscribe the channel and turn on notifications for more Linux tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.